145. Alright, I'm happy with that. That's that's YouTubeable. <laughs> so basically I'm gonna start this video with some interesting statistics. Let's say that you're the average typist and you type at 41 words per minute. Most people type about 3,500 words a day, just on average. If you type at this speed, that means that you spend 85 minutes per day typing. Let's say that you were to increase this typing speed to 120 words per minute. What happens then is that instead of spending 85 minutes, you now only spend 29.16 minutes to type that same amount of words. If you were to multiply this across the course of a year, that means you save 20,381.6 minutes of typing. That's equivalent to 339.69 hours per year, and that's equivalent to 1019.07 anime episodes per year. <laughs> that's a lot of time that you could use. You don't have to watch anime, obviously, although you should. You can use that time for other stuff. It makes sense, therefore, to spend even like 10 hours or something improving your typing speed, because if you don't necessarily type at 120 words per minute, which is actually a very achievable speed, by the way, you can still save heaps and heaps and heaps of time, because all you have to do is figure out a few of the principles and then just practice because you're already typing every single day, right? So you can practice on the job of whatever you're typing. If you understand these principles, then you find that you'll be able to type a lot faster. The first one is that you want to fundamentally get to the stage where you don't have to look at the keyboard anymore. The way to do that is to realize that the keyboard has these two different ridges, one on the F key and one on the J key. It's a little tactile ridge that you don't have to physically look like, you can just feel it with your index finger. If you use that as the kind of like home base, you can therefore move your index finger around to the different keys, then figure if the G is right next to the F, right? So all I need to do is move my index finger slightly to the right. Being able to do that is like the fundamental base of where you should rest your hands. And you hit the spacebar key quite naturally with the thumb. Once you've figured out that that's your home roll, you can start to be a bit more comfortable with the keys that are sort of in the middle. Then you want to be able to try to move up and down to hit other letters. Something that you realize as well, especially if you're typing lots of sentences, is that often you don't want to necessarily type individual characters. There's a lot of muscle memory that happens from thinking about individual, even sounds, for example. If you type the word sound, it will literally be like S and then ound. It's a bit hard to explain, but it becomes like a muscle memory thing where the actual pronounced version of that particular word is correlated with a specific action. Once you become more fluent in typing, you realize that that fluency actually increases. One of the major benefits of being able to type like this is not just for the fact that you can be more productive and type more things. It's actually that by having this ability to effortlessly put your thoughts onto a page, it becomes a lot easier to write stuff. I think that the the unfortunate thing is that if you're not typing very fast, when you end up typing articles or words or whatever, they can feel very stilted. They come across as like duh, 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 when really people don't necessarily talk like that. People talk in full, flowing sentences, and then if you can type also in a way that's also freely flowing, then it's just like reducing that barrier between thought to paper, or thought to computer screen rather. That's the major benefit. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> but 132 is not too bad. I'll see what happens if I try actual sentences because I think that this might be a bit more interesting. Think of all the roads, think of all the crossing, taking steps is easy, standing the store is hard. Remember all their faces, remember all their faces. Everything is different, three seconds time. Whoa! <laughs> yes! 145, sick. Alright, I'm happy with that. That's that's YouTubeable. <laughs> Another thing that really, really helps typing is the ability to use keyboard shortcuts. And I don't just mean the Control plus C and Control plus V, which everyone knows about, how to copy and paste. But there's a few others that are worthwhile knowing. And this is on Mac, but I just use the Option key a lot. So on the Macs, an Option key will actually allow you, if you use the arrows on the right-hand side and hold down Option, you can actually very, very quickly go between each word as opposed to having to go between each letter and just really rapidly typing. That allows you to 
select words a lot quicker. You can also, while you're selecting between words, hold the shift button. So for example, if you wanted to select a whole word, you actually hold down option and shift and then press left or right, or up or down if you want to select whole lines. And then you can you know, easily delete it or copy and paste or whatever. The other one is that on a Mac, you can hold down command as well. If you don't want to do whole words, for example, but just do whole lines, holding command pretty much goes to the end of the line or the start of the line. And similarly, you can hold shift as well to select that whole line too. By just knowing that, you can actually go really quickly up and down things. If you press command up, then it actually goes to the start of the selectable text. And if you press command down, then it goes to the bottom of the selectable text. If on a Mac, you hold shift control, option alt, basically all the modify keys, hold all those buttons down, press V to paste, and that's how you actually paste text without formatting. So that's a super useful thing too. You can also use the option key to, if you want to delete whole words, just hold down the option key and then press option delete and you actually delete whole words. If you want to delete whole sentences, you could probably press command delete and it will do the same thing. Or sorry, command backspace rather. Being able to alternate between your windows is really important. Most people hopefully know about alt tab and that applies to Mac and Windows, although on Mac it's actually command tab, but that allows you to switch quickly between different windows. And so that's really helpful. And those are sort of the, the main keyboard shortcuts that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. The other way is to improve your textual typing is I tend to use macros a lot. I, for example, use text expander. That's a paid one. I think there's another one called a text that you can use that you only pay for once, whereas text expander is a subscription model. And it's useful because what it does is you can put in a whole paragraph of text and then have that paragraph come up every time that you type a certain shortcut. So for example, if you're doing clinical work, you can actually type in like dot COVID and then you have like a paragraph of text that's like, okay, well, the plan is that this person needs COVID sore, they need to self-isolate, they need a Panadol or ibuprofen, etc. It saves you a lot of time if you're trying to type the same thing over and over and over again. I think a lot of people don't necessarily make good use of Command F or Control F on Windows. The actual search and replace thing is really, really useful. So for example, a lot of the time on a web browser, when you're searching for information, you're just searching for one particular piece of text. Super duper easy to just press Control F and then start typing the individual piece of text that you're looking for. Another thing that, and this is really advanced, but there's some web browsers where you can actually type regex in. I won't talk about it too much, but basically you search for a character or a number without actually specifying what that character or number is. If you're interested in regex, you can look at this tutorial that I put uh, on my blog about it, just explaining it briefly, but that's something that can be quite useful too. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Take care.